Let's go ahead and examine how we use databases from within Rails more specifically. And right now I'm going to examine this relationship here between our churches and services models. Now what we have in our ERD is that every church has to have at least one service and a service has to be associated with a church. So let's go and examine uh, what Rails has for us right now. So what I'm going to do is go into the console and I'm going to turn on the sandbox mode because I don't want to make something bogus or anything like that in, in our database. But I want to explore what's going on in our database. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, a service object and I'm just going to pass it nothing as parameters. So uh, we just can do that with this line right here. And you can see that we have done an insert into services. Now look at what we set for our connection to our church ID in addition to all our other values right here. We don't have a church. So if we do something like s.church, which is supposed to access the church object associated with this ID right here, it's nil. And that does not match what we said we wanted with our uh, database. We want to make sure that every service has a, a church. And so what we can do is we can go into our model and we can set up validations just like we did earlier with, with our users model. So we can say validates and what we're going to do is we're going to, we we have the option to actually validate the ID that we have uh, but what we want to do is we want to actually validate the association that's associated with that ID because what we want to do is say that it exists that its presence is, is true so if we do that and go back to our console and and reload our sandboxed situation and we try to do the same thing s equals service dot create now notice that no insert method and I can pull this up so we can see the difference between those two here originally we did a service create and it has this insert in here whereas here we have a rollback so that validation failed. If we do s.valid, we find it's valid. We can do s.errors, uh, .full messages. We can see church can't be blank, which is the message we get because we, we don't have a church. And so great, now we have that relationship. How are we ever going to be able to create a, a service. Do we have to do something like s equals service dot create and now we need some church, maybe church ID uh, and what should that church ID be? Um, that That's really gonna be tricky because now we ha we're actually gonna have to look up a church or we're gonna have to pass a, a church ID into uh, our service controller or something like that. Uh, but Rails supports this in, in a very different way. And the way we can do that is is through the church um, object. Since the church has services, we have our object uh, services. Um, well, we need to do created uh, C equals church that first. So now we've got a church here. And it's just a random church I put in the database. And we can do c.services. Right now we can see that this is an empty array. And what we can do is we can build that out. We can do, say c.services.create. And now this is going to create uh, let's make sure we do this. S equals C dot services dot create. This is going to create a, a service for this particular church because we're doing it 
through that church, c.services. So this isn't just any random service, it's a service for this particular church. Again, I'm not passing it any parameters here, but look what happens when we do that. It actually inserts into the services model something valid because it knows what the ID is for that church. And the nice thing is we didn't have to look that up. And we, we did because we did this there and we can see that the church ID is one. So we see that, that those two values match. But in general, we didn't have to look that up. Rails automatically did that for us. We, we can see it uh, that, that it just makes sure to assign that foreign key into our service models for us. And, and so now we have a service that's been added into the, the database. Now what this service doesn't have, of course, are our valid remaining values. We, we don't have our day of week, our start time, or finish time, our location. But we, we do have that, that connection with that church. And we can go the other way now, right? We can go s.church, and we can see that that services church is the church that, that we, we started with. So that is how we can make a connection that's required across a many-to-one boundary.